Greetings and welcome back to Banished. So we are in the process of upgrading this storage barn. So they have to get rid of everything that's inside. And they will be bringing it to this newly built uh, storage warehouse, which they are actually doing. That's nice. I was hoping that they would be bringing more of the food to uh, these uh, root cellars. Apparently they are not doing that. That's kind of unfortunate. I would have kind of hoped that they would prioritize a specialized storage. And if not prioritize, that they at least would perhaps spread it out. Move uh, some things back here, move some things over there. Apparently that is not happening, but oh well, it is what it is. Once this one is done, we will have uh, a lot of storage. That should uh, suffice for uh, quite a, a while. Right, and I also noticed that our health is going down a little bit, but uh, um, let's let's get rid of one builder and let's assign a new herbalist because I want the health to go back up. Now we got no one in the candle in the chandlery, but uh, that's all right. We will be getting to that once we actually have some more people again. Because we got a lot of jobs to fill and not enough people. Slowly but surely we should be growing even if I don't build any more houses because a few of them are somewhat empty. And these two are occupied by people that aren't very uh, productive when it comes to uh, expanding population that is. And uh, we got an empty shack back here. And one person living in this shack, also not good. So yeah, kind of waiting for a few people to kick the bucket <laughs> and uh, make some room for uh, new people. In the meantime, I'm also moving candles over here as a uh, trading item. Because I gotta do something with all the beeswax, and selling beeswax isn't very profitable, it seems. So I might as well just turn it into candles and sell it, because it does sell for for eight, which is quite nice. How many candles do we have? Anyway, I can't see back here. Um, none back here either. We still got one builder. I'm hoping that's enough to have built this uh, storage warehouse. We actually have no laborers at all. Well, we do have a few uh, people that might labor. Or maybe not. Everyone seems to be very busy. Still uh, not enough logs. We are using up a lot for the woodcutter again. Ah, there we go, we got a bunch of candles. So, uh, apparently we have none back here at the moment. Even though I did order about 60, I guess they were busy transporting it uh, over here. So uh, yes, now they're gone, okay. That's uh, good. Oh yeah, and apart from that, we also have this meat locker here. So yeah, we have a lot of storage room, I must say. And health is going up, that's nice. The amount of medicine actually went down pretty fast. I'm guessing a lot of people were very anxious on getting some uh, uh, medical treatment, I suppose. So yeah, a lot of this game is pretty much uh, playing the waiting game. There's not always all that much you can do. Because, well, we're still busy and we only got one builder. I'm not sure if I can get rid of any more people from their job. 
the amount of food is actually going down, which isn't great. What do we have? We have two gatherers, we have one hunter, and I think that's it when it comes to... Oh, no, and we got the, uh, the herdsman and the... Well, we don't have a butcher. Let's see, venison. There's a lot of venison here. Not a lot of bison meat, so it doesn't seem like any of these got butchered yet. Oh, yeah, it's all going in here. It's kind of unfortunate, I suppose. It seems like they do dump everything in the nearest stockpile. Oh, in the nearest uh, storage area. So I might need to take that into account. And I have put down meat lockers and the root cellars um, at, I don't know, at farming areas. And I guess the, uh, which is it, the bank barn? No, the bank barn is for everything. There should be some, uh, no, not dry storage, grain silo, I suppose. Should be near all the farming land. Speaking of farming, any trader yet? Wanna buy some uh, seeds? No, no, that's a tree. Alright, and slowly but surely this one is being built. We have enough resources, that's good. Now we just need that one builder to uh, do his job. Wherever he may be. Gathering food, okay. Now what do we build next? Not entirely sure. We are... Uh, kind of waiting for the population to grow a little bit so that we can oh we got a, a young couple here that's good a teacher and a student that seems a uh, totally appropriate <laughs> um. Any shack is still empty. I guess it's partly due to the fact that we only have one miner. If we had another miner, perhaps they would move in here. That's uh, certainly not uh, a certainty. Wow, Tor, the beekeeper. Still, I, I think the population is reasonably stable, so that's a good thing. I think the uh, the worst times are over. At least I say that now. In a few episodes, we might have a lot of people dying again. So, uh, uh, yes, there we go. Another person died. Alejandri the tailor. And no laborer. To oh, we got no tailor. Well... Do we need one? We got clothes for now. I'm gonna wait until we actually need one. You know what? I'm gonna up the uh, amount that they can make. Let's up it to 50. And let's get rid of the uh, blacksmith and let's turn him into a tailor. Because, well. Totally makes sense. <laughs> now the tailor should be making a bunch more hide clothes, uh, hide coats, and then afterwards I can uh, sort of uh, switch him back and forth between tailor and blacksmith, because it does seem like most of the time both of these don't really have all that much to do. Time this one lone miner is still mining iron for all the, uh, well, I guess for just the blacksmiths. That's wooden house. 
That's the blacksmith. And the ale wench has died. <laughs> How unfortunate. Alright, so we need someone in the inn. Do we need someone in the inn? I'm not sure. Uh, this person is still brewing ale. So, who could be uh, put in the inn? I guess uh, we could get rid of the trader for now. Let's put you in the inn. Now, who's the innkeeper? What's it called? It's Ale Wench. Okay. Well, luckily, he's actually serving ale, but once we have wine, is it supposed to be in Wine Wench? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. How do I make wine anyway? Uh, I'm not really asking for the uh, uh, real version of it, I'm asking for the game version of it, so... Uh, we need... Grapes and other fruit, so I guess you could make wine from uh, blueberries, seeing as it's, uh, it is the only fruit that we have access to, because of the gatherer. Yeah, you need uh, apparently yeah, you need fruit for uh, pretty much all the alcohol. So I suppose you uh, can we use the distillery for? So we need grains and other organics, like what for example? I'm not sure potatoes for vodka. <laughs> that would make sense, but I'm not even sure if there's potatoes in this game. I do know that the Colonial Charters mod adds in a whole bunch of uh, crops. Oh, got a trader on the way. Um, Alright. We'll need someone to go trade. You there, Herbalist. Got a trader for a day. And apparently someone else died. Cleric died of old age. Alright, well, that's not really all that... Um, Important where we are down to 14 uh, adults though, so I guess the uh, problems are not solved yet. Let's take a look what we have sugar cookies Okay Let's Sell some candles Wow, that's that's a lot um, Let's sell about uh, 10 candles That's 80 and that's a bunch of firewood. Okay There we go and what else do you um, sell? Eh, not all that much. Alright, you can go. Oh, that's weird. Someone else died. So the person that I just put in the trade house, uh, the trade post died. Alright, so uh, we still gotta get... We got an empty house, we got old people, old people, young person, that's good. Wait a minute, then we have a teacher here. How did the teacher die? That doesn't seem like it should have happened. That person was like in their 20s. Let's see, teacher, teacher. That's a different person. Okay, well... Uh, we got a, a young woman here. Do we have even any young males anywhere? Uh, that's a woman. Uh, we got one here, that's good. Still a student in about two years, I suppose. That person can move out. This is a young male. Okay, so... I guess it'll even out eventually. We should have a whole bunch of young families now. Soon enough, anyway. So uh, this person can start a family. Uh, this person... We got no one here. So yeah, okay, the bad moments aren't gone yet, but uh, we should be getting a whole bunch of new adults soon, once all these students come of age. Food doesn't seem to be an issue.
yeah, I kind of have to wait until this all stabilizes. Uh, there's no point in building more houses. I have plenty of empty ones. So there's nothing else I can do at the moment but wait until people move in and make babies. <laughs> So yeah, there's a few things that are very optional, like the trader, I only need to have a person in there part-time. Same with the uh, tailor and the, the blacksmith, <laughs> I was gonna say the tailor and the wooden house. Um, yeah, the chandler isn't very essential, same with the butcher. Uh, we still got a whole bunch of bison meat in here. Once I activate the butcher, they will probably just uh, chop up all the stuff in here in a short amount of time. And it doesn't seem like it goes bad. Not even sure if if there's uh, something like that, that the food goes bad after a while. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And now we play the waiting game. <laughs> I don't really want to speed up the game too much. I think it's still somewhat relaxing to watch everything happen. Even if uh, that everything isn't all that much. Could I build something in the meantime? Let's take a look. So, um, one of the possibilities was a shore house. So that we can gather clay and get a brick maker, which is a, an upgraded uh, charcoal burner. That doesn't seem like... Okay, that's a lot of... Uh, we got uh, two new people apparently. Alright, what do we do with those two? We will need a herbalist. And we will need. Well, let's uh, let's let's get a butcher for now. That way he can get rid of all the bison meat in here. That that's actually less bison meat than before. So does it does it really? Uh, or did they move it down here? I'm not sure. It's possible that they just moved it to the meat locker. Although it seems kind of pointless, but. Oh well. And you know, when it comes to food, we still have a uh, a bit of a buffer here, so we can uh, slaughter a few of these animals if we lower the uh, if we lower this amount. It kind of gives you a small boost in food, but still, food shouldn't be an issue at all. Because even though when people die, you might have less workers to gather food. But when people die, you also have less mouths to feed, so that should sort of even out. And the good thing is that I, that the food I rely on at the moment is very, very constant. So I'm not working with farmland where you just have a harvest in a what is it, a summertime or a, or during the fall. I'm not sure. And then you have like half a year that you don't have any food income. So, it's fairly stable at the moment. Now we still have one laborer. Um, what do we do with you? Okay, you can make candles for a moment. We still got a lot of beeswax to get rid of. You can make up to 400 candles. It's fine. Oh, we got sausages. How did we... Oh, I guess the butcher makes sausages. That would make sense, but... It's actually the first time that I noticed it. Meat cuts was something we bought. Anything? There's 
take another look. So uh, I can't really do much with the ropery because I don't have flax or hemp. I could try and build a quarry somewhere. Though that'll be... That will allow me, however, to get a lot of uh, stone without having to gather it from everywhere. So yeah, let's let's try and see where we can build a quarry. So I guess the uh, I guess we could build it somewhere around here. This will be a regular mines, and then we have a quarry down here somewhere. That could work. It shouldn't be too far away either. So. Maybe I could build another bridge. Yes, let's build another bridge. <laughs> Somewhere around here, perhaps. Don't do I need that many bridges? It seems kind of pointless, doesn't it? I was tempted on building one back here. Let's see. That wouldn't even work. Oh damn! Of course, I'm uh, looking <laughs> the wrong way. I'm uh, I'm still in a uh, city skyline mode where I just uh, draw a uh, road and <laughs> hope that a bridge uh, builds from its own. Um, we got a bunch of ale. Do we want to buy ale? I suppose we could. All right, you there, builder? You become a trader. Do we even need a trader for trading? Let's uh, let's just do it without and let's see what happens. Two hundred I need. There we go. Twenty-five candles for twenty-five ale. Sounds like a deal. Okay, so I don't need the trader to trade. I only need them to gather stuff. I didn't really actually know that. Though I might have known it, but I forgot it already. But now I know it again. Now I can forget it again. Though I don't want to, but I will. <laughs> And we still have this... Oh yeah, I was gonna build a bridge. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, a bridge like this perhaps? Cannot build at this location. Why can't you build a bridge? Doesn't make sense. Oh, there we can build a bridge. And the question is, do we build a bridge? The question is, do I need a bridge? I guess I can build one. There we go. Of course we need a builder. And we need some roads that go that way. Oh, apparently there's something in the way back here. The, um, a little piece of hill. Of course I could build a tunnel under that. Of course, I could not build a tunnel under that. Well, that's good to know. Let's let's build the road this way. What are you doing? Um, I guess there's another small hill in the way. Uh, well, that's what I get for uh, taking the valley map. I always lose track of where I built the road. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna wait until they build it. That'll be easier to see. In the meantime, they should be hauling stuff to the bridge. Then I can build a quarry over here somewhere. I guess in the meantime, I should be getting rid of all the stuff that's here. Wait, that's not stone? That is stone. I guess we were still collecting it, perhaps? That's odd. And a bunch of iron as well. Let's get rid of it all. Of course, I don't have that many laborers, although... No, I don't have many laborers. Um... Well, I'm looking...
looking for who I can turn into a laborer without messing things up. Okay, the woodcutter can be a laborer for now. I have enough firewood, at least for the time being. And I still have plenty stored in the trading post, so that shouldn't be a problem. And we have a lot of food, it seems. It's kind of odd. Oh yeah, I did uh, activate the butcher, so I guess that's the uh, reason. I got a whole bunch of sausages and meat cuts. I guess meat cuts are a uh, byproduct of the butcher. I guess which also is being used by people as food. To make like stews and all that sort of stuff. So the bridge needs a whole bunch of logs, which we should actually be getting, seeing as I did deactivate the woodcutter. Okay, now uh, seeing as it's winter, I can actually see this road, so that's uh, nice. Now where's the bridge? <laughs> I guess over here. Oh, it seems to take a turn. Okay, now I lost track of the of the road again. I'm gonna wait. And we got another laborer. Um, someone became an adult. How is that progressing? We got... Okay. Some young people. More young people, and how about back here? No, still nothing. Okay, well, it's not that bad. It's with the uh, ups and downs, but that's to be expected. Oh, now we got a, a young woman here. Okay, that's good. Now all we gotta do is find a, a young male to go move in. bunch of candles now, though maybe not as much. That's odd. Are they storing it someplace else? Oh yeah, we got a, a few here as well. This place is actually very filled up with stuff. I'm kind of tempted on building a market so that I have a place where all the food is uh, distributed evenly among all the people. So let's take a look. Markets. So we have the rural market. Central market. Okay. What's the difference anyway? Food, tools, clothing, materials, and fuel. And food, tools, clothing, materials, and fuel. cost seems to be almost the same and the size seems to be almost the same so let's take a look at the range so this one has a range of this and this one is it a little bigger let's take a look so if I place it here it reaches all the way to the pasture and if I place this one here it's a little smaller okay but other than that what is the difference really These small stalls are actually very small, and I mainly mean in the uh, in the range they have. So that's kind of unfortunate because I'm not sure what you would be using it for then, because a uh, market like this will serve a lot more people, and a stall like this, well, they only they only hand out certain certain goods, 
and that means that well basically to serve all the people you will you would need almost all the stalls and with a range like this you would need a cluster of stalls like every every few uh, blocks that doesn't really make sense so it seems like you're better off with a central market it seems like it's the most uh, efficient it's the same size as a rural, rural one, I think. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's exactly the same size. We're better off at the central market. Unfortunately, I cannot cram it in here. Because uh, this piece of hill is in the way. Kind of unfortunate. <laughs> um, well, that's yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be looking uh, around where I could put down a market where it's not uh, obstructed by anything. In the meantime, uh, we almost have a bridge. Okay, that's good. Someone's building it. And how is this road? Um, it's going around here. Wait, did I connect it? Apparently I did. Okay. So, without knowing, I actually connected this road. The way it should have been. <laughs> That's nice to know. Alright, anyway. I guess I'll be ending the episode right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.